How's it guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share something with you that is going to help save you so much time as an editor. So stick around. Uh, I've taken the week off to go up to a place called the Drakensberg. Beautiful mountainous area in South Africa. Uh, I mean, this is where I'm staying. Check out my view. Stunning, like absolutely beautiful. I love it out here. It's just so peaceful. I'm on leave. I haven't done a video in a while and I wanted to get something out there before I go back to the office. Funny story, I was chilling at the swimming pool uh, yesterday with my wife and kids and had my legs kind of like spread open. I don't know for how long, must have been like a good 20 minutes. This is a, a pool full of kids. And uh, my wife comes over to me and she graciously tells me that my pants have ripped in the, like the, that area. So since then, I haven't shown my face at that pool and probably won't ever again. So she's off on pool duty since then and I got a free hour. So I thought, why don't I make a video? Why don't I make a cool video about adjustment layers and how they can save you so much time as an editor. So let's get to the computer, check it out. Okay, so let's get into it. We got Premiere Pro open. And before we start, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been uh, subscribing, liking my, my videos. Like, I really appreciate it. Just to know that there's people out there that think my content is helping. It, it really means a lot. Uh, that's really why I'm doing this, to help people. So if you haven't already, subscribed to my channel. Hit that button at the bottom. Um, I'd really, really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Okay, so let's get straight into it. Um, I got Premiere Pro open, and I've got a few clips at the bottom here. Let's just zoom in. I've got my friend playing bass and drums. I've cut them up in order to just give you an idea of if you had multiple clips all next to each other, uh, what it would look like. What we're talking about today is adjustment layers. Adjustment layers are great because they have a way of taking lots of clips and adding properties and colors and anything that you want to a whole bunch of clips at once, rather than having to change each and every clip individually, which I used to do, it was a waste of time. How adjustment layers work, they work top down. So when you look at software, video editing software, we look at it linearly. We watch a video from here to there. But what's happening is the software, what it's putting out, it's, it's obviously moving from left to right, but it's also at the same time looking top down. So it moves from left to right, but it looks from the top down. So you can imagine yourself as this little blue arrow there looking down at your timeline and anything that's on top, on the topmost layer, it's gonna put out uh, onto the screen. So at the moment, there is only one layer, so it's gonna put out everything that's currently in the layer. But if I push this layer to the top and just drag it across, the timeline moves from left to right. And once it gets to this position, it has a choice to make. Do I push out this video at the bottom or this video at top? Can't do both, so it has to do one. So the way that it's designed, whatever's on top gets put out. So once it gets to this point and passes over, it plays the top clip and nothing underneath is shown. Unless you drop the opacity where you'll see two layers at once. But that's how it works. So when you think of adjustment layers, think of adjustment layers top down. Think of it as looking down upon your timeline. An adjustment layer is an invisible layer that you stick on top. It's almost like a, like a lens that you see everything through and you add properties, you add colors to these lens, you add effects to this lens, you add a whole bunch of different things to this layer. And when the software looks through that layer, it's going to apply any properties on that layer to all of the layers underneath it. So that's basically how adjustment layers work. How you add an adjustment layer is you click on your project panel on the left here, on the bottom right, there's a button that says new item. You click it and then you click adjustment layer. So I'll say okay and I get a new adjustment layer. Another way of doing it is file new adjustment layer. Uh, if you don't see this here, it's because you haven't selected your project panel at the bottom. If I selected my program panel or maybe my timeline and I go to file new, I can't add an adjustment layer. It's because your program uh, your, uh, sorry, your project panel has to be selected. That's this one over here before you can go through file, uh, new adjustment there and now it's available. All right, so once it's over here and available, you just drag it onto your clip. I'm going to pull it so that it fills my entire clip because I want to do a basic color grade over this, this whole clip. Uh, just as an example. Cool thing about adjustment layers is that you can change the settings on the adjustment layer and it adjusts everything underneath, but it doesn't actually affect the settings of your, your footage. So I'll show you what I mean. So let's 
let's look at this clip of my friend playing drums. What I'm gonna do is I have my adjustment layer selected, don't forget. I'll go to my color tab, the metric color, and I'm gonna push, just as an example, I'm gonna push the exposure way up on this thing so you can see the difference. So it's pushed pretty high. Now, if I go back to my editing panel and I play through, not just that clip has been affected, but every single clip underneath it, even the bass clip coming up. So you can see the bass clip there, the exposure is really high. So if I pause it and turn off the adjustment layer, toggle it off, that's the original clip with the adjustment layer on. Can you see how it changes every single uh, clip underneath it? That's the power of an adjustment layer. What I usually do is I have two adjustment layers on most of my videos. My first adjustment layer is a white balance layer. So I get my whites right, make sure that my whites are white. And then I add another layer on top of that, uh, which I'll use to color grade. So, and sometimes that won't stretch across the whole movie as one clip. It'll be cut into different clips depending on if I use different angles. I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna turn this off for now, this adjustment layer. Actually, I'm gonna delete it. And uh, when I look at this clip, this bass seems a little bit darker than these drums. Uh, they both are a bit underexposed, but there's quite a lot of shadows. It's quite dark in the background of that bass. So I wanna show you how you can use adjustment layers to quickly color adjust and expose different clips rather than going to each and every individual one, which I did, by the way. I used to do this all the time and it was time consuming, frustrating, and I was a noob. I'm clicking the adjustment layer over my bass guitar clip. And I'm just gonna push the exposure up, just as an example. Oops, sorry, it's toggled off as you can see there. I'll toggle it back on. Uh, just drop the contrast a bit. So I'm just gonna add some whites and a little bit of shadows. This is just, I'm not even trying here. This is like me just doing a really bad example. Okay, all right. Now what you can do is you hold Alt and you drag that adjustment layer over wherever the bass guitar comes up again. So it comes up here and I'll just adjust it to the length of that clip. And I think there's one more, hold Alt, drag, and make another one. So now what happens is every time the bass guitar appears, you can see the coloring on that one. It changes for the drums because the adjustment layer is not over the drums. And then when it gets back to the bass guitar, it's still got the same settings, which is great. So you can keep the same color. Uh, but now what I want to do is add another one for the drums because the drums don't look like the bass. The bass looks a bit overexposed now and the drums are underexposed. So you can drag, same adjustment layer. It hasn't saved any properties to the adjustment layer in the project panel. You can just keep pulling this thing as much as you want in. And I'll just drag that in when my mouse works. Drag it in, drag it across the drums and I can adjust this separately. So I'll push the exposure up, give it some contrast, highlights. I'm gonna make it pink, just as an example, and blue. Oh, it just looks lovely, doesn't it? Just an absolute beaut of a color grade. What I'll do is I'll copy this, drag it over to my next section. Sorry, I could do this on the editing channel, uh, tab, and just drop it in there. So I have one adjustment layer here for my drums, which I've copied over to there, and in between in the middle sections and the outside sections are my bass. Uh, adjustment layer. So when I play the clip, uh, everything stays consistent. So my drums, that camera angle, that clip that I've used has its own color grade. My separate camera over there has a different color grade. And what you want to do with those adjustment layers is, is work them so that they do look similar all the way through. The cool thing with adjustment layers is you don't have to just do color on them, you can add effects to them too. So let's add an effect onto this adjustment layer. Invert. If I throw it onto that adjustment layer, it adds a cool effect just onto that uh, clip, onto that section. I don't know why would you do that, who knows, but um, it's great because what it actually does is it doesn't affect your original footage, it just affects the adjustment layer on top of it. So if I toggle this off, the footage is still there, it's still clean, it's still perfectly intact, and all I'm doing is adjusting the adjustment layer on top. Uh, you can actually come up with some cool transitions doing this, and I, I've, I've got a, a video which I'm recording uh, using adjustment layers on, on some cool transition effects, but if you get creative with it, you can do amazing things with adjustment layers. Uh, you can also pull the opacity down on this, so if you don't don't want that effect to show up as brightly or come through as strongly, 75% uh, rather than 
100%, you can do that. There's tons of stuff you can do to adjustment this. But what it is gonna do, it's gonna save tons of your time as, a, as an editor, so you don't sit there individually editing every clip and then copy and pasting that thing. You just put an adjustment layer over it, smack your color grade, smack your light onto whatever that adjustment layer needs, and you just stretch it across however far you need it to stretch across. It's great. But that's it guys, I really hope that helps you. If Hey, if that added value to your life as an editor, as a videographer, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel. I'd really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, but that's it, that is all for me. Cool, peace out. Peace out, how do I, peace out.